Holy moly, we have so many new things to show you today. My mind is about ready to explode. I have rushed to Sonoma and rushed back again <laughs> to get all of the new products and help with all the photos and get everything up. We have nine of 12 new items available today. We have three more I'm gonna show you that are gonna be available as of tomorrow. And it's all super exciting. Um, we're calling it our summer vacation series. And a lot of these items are similar or a similar color story to our lakeside kit, which sold out for the midsummer market at the Great Beat Extravaganza. And um, yeah, so it's it's really, really beautiful. If you go to the website, softflexcompany.com, you'll see all nine items just make the website look gorgeous. So I'm going to flip on my uh, demo camera and we can take a look here in just a minute. Hi, nice to see you guys. I'm Sarah Ayler. I'm from softlexcompany.com. We are a beading wire and craft wire manufacturer, but we also manufacture and sell lots of other uh, beads and components and jewelry making supplies. If you're not familiar with us, you can learn lots more by going to our website, softlexcompany.com right there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we're going to take a look at some of our new products today. They just came out fresh on the website today. We have a great sale going on where if you buy over $49, you get 10% off. Over $69, you get 15% off. And over $99, you get 20% off on the website. So that will be running through next Tuesday. And um, we will have an additional deal coming up this weekend for the Great Bead Extravaganza. Everything we have, is, as always, is in limited supply. So if you want something, you probably want to grab it quickly. We do free shipping on orders over $49. So if you end up having to do more than one order, um, it won't be so bad because we'll take care of your shipping as long as your order's over that $49 uh, price point. Hi, Susie. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Lois. Hi, Gail. So glad to see all of you guys here. I see that Dahlia Design says that she's been playing with her Midsummer Market kit today. I love that. It's a really beautiful kit. It is sold out, um, but a lot of the items that we have are going to play very nicely with it. So let's take a look at some of those new items that I am talking about. Um, okay, so if you're not familiar, first let's cover what is the Great Bead Extravaganza. It is a free online event. It is a collaboration of 15 jewelry supply companies. It happens in a Facebook group called the Great Beat Extravaganza. It was a brainchild of my friend Andrew Thornton of Allegory Gallery and, and mine. We <laughs> were texting back and forth one day after I had him on for a live beating party. And we were talking about how COVID was just a struggle for so many small businesses. And we wondered what it might be like to have an online beat show with some of our favorite friends in the industry and if it might be a way that we could all sort of lift each other up in a really difficult time and now as covid has you know started to move out of our um out of our lives thank god we're still kind of going strong. We've made a really great bond between the 15 companies and our latest beat show. This will be our fourth. I can't believe it. It'll be our fourth is called Midsummer Market. And um, we're kind of doing a summer theme for the show. And the idea is um, to think about what it was like to go to the beat and button show in years past. It was held in Milwaukee by a huge lake. And so we kind of took that concept and um, and then we at Softlux Company took it even further and we made a kit 
called the Lakeside uh, Design Kit. So that sold out already, and that's what Kristen will be using this weekend uh, for our presentation, which, gonna, which is going to happen at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Um, I will be using a mixture of our new products in my design. Um, I'm still kind of coming, putting it together in my head, but I will definitely um, be using one of our new colors in our Lakeside Trio, which just came out today. It's the dark blue lapis, the green turquoise, and the fluorite mixed together. And this is a really great representation of those kit colors from the Lakeside Design Kit. So I'll definitely be using that. I'm thinking about using our new carrier beads, which is a new item that just went online uh, today. They come in six different colors. You can use them just as a two-hole bead, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Or there are tons of stitching patterns out there and you can stitch over the top of these carrier beads and uh, make them into a little seed beaded bead. They're really fun. If you look on Pinterest or YouTube, I think Jill Wiseman has some fantastic um, designs that you can use with carrier beads. We're gonna carry them in these six colors and I'm gonna use it probably as a two hole bead, more than likely. Um, but I'm not quite certain yet. Of course, you know, me, I like to fly by the seat of my pants. So <laughs> who knows what I'll end up doing, but probably something like that. We added these little guys today, these little double pyramids, really pretty, beautiful colors. You've got an olive green, a really soft, almost like a chrysoprase green, and then a, tur a blue turquoise. Really lovely. We still have our um, Be Kind strand too. We ordered a ton of these. So we've got lots of these still available. If you haven't gotten one yet, it can also play really nicely with all these new materials. These three bead strands are the ones that are gonna go up tomorrow. So these um, are check glass beads. This particular one is a nice, size 12 millimeter. I think it's actually bigger than 12 millimeter because these ones are marked 12 millimeter. So Kristen, you might want to check on, have Rosa check on that tag size. It's not actually 12 millimeter. I think they're closer to 14 millimeter probably. But look at those. Beautiful. Such a pretty color. These remind me like a mermaid tail. They're a really lovely color, kind of like our fluorite color. Very similar. So glad to see you guys joining me. Thanks for being here with me. If you hadn't seen TierCast as our takeover in the Great Beat Extravaganza group today, so I laid this out because I wanted to remind you that the Great Beat Extravaganza also has an Instagram page. And after our video uh, last week or Monday, oh my gosh, was that just Monday? This has been a busy week. <laughs> After our video on Monday here on Facebook and YouTube, I uh, went to our Great Beat Extravaganza Instagram page and I did a reel using Tierra Cast's beautiful moth that was in our renewal uh, design kit. You can pick up these moths from Kelly's Bead Boutique or Star's Bead. Softlux does not carry it separately but we do carry everything else, the wire, the crystals, and then this beautiful tiara cast clasp. So if you wanna learn more about tiara cast, now is the time, go to the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page, and uh, they have taken over the group for the day. So I'm sure Tracy's posting all sorts of good information um, about tiara cast. So last but not least, we've talked about all this, we have, two new sets of tassels. We have a lakeside set, and then we also have a, a midnight sky, I think is what it's called, set. They are uh, big bundles of tassels with different kinds. So, and we laid them out nicely in the picture so you can see all of them really well if you look at the picture on the website. 
but we've got like some cute little triangle tassels. We've got them in kind of a beautiful green blue color. Some of those little fun floral tassels in two different colors. That's good. Yeah, lots of good stuff. That's just one of the tassel bags and you can find those on our website as well. I don't even know what I'm gonna make today. There's so many new things to try that I am like super duper excited. We still have some Be Kind design kits left too. Um, here's the other tassel kit. It's got some really nice big long ones. Some of the floral in a really deep dark blue and then some of the little ones too and an even darker. What is this like navy? It's like that really really maybe this is more like a royal blue and this is more like a navy. Really pretty and then some little ones even some cute little leather ones. Those are all on the website. So these are both gonna work really well with many of the products in that Lakeside Design Kit if you wanna add to it. And then we've got three new mixes just in. Let's take a look at those. Let me see if I can just kind of maneuver in here. So this one is called the Green Mambo. How beautiful is that? So pretty. It's got these cute little flowers, some really gorgeous bicones, some little metal bead caps all sorts of good stuff. And then look at this cute little hummingbird charm. Perfect for your summer vacation design. Really, really lovely. So that is just one of the bead mixes. I'm so tempted. Maybe I will use that, that little hummingbird today. Really pretty. Let's look at the other two up close too. I love how they come in these little cylinders. Keep all your beads together. So handy. Thanks, Lydia. Lydia says that's a beautiful dish. It's one of my mother's. Um, when we all moved in together, my mom lives with us to help me with um, with the kids, and she brought this with us, with her, and it is definitely supposed to be a dish for for cranberries at Thanksgiving, like Lois is saying. But um, I have just nabbed it for looking at beads too, because you can get a really nice. Uh, clear look at beads in a clear crystal glass because the light can come through it. And so hopefully you guys are seeing the beads really well. Aren't those pretty? Look at this one. It's got some really fancy crystals like, ooh, look at these cubes. Some metal beads too. Look at this fun tassel. It's like a wide topped tassel with the leather. Some more little fun tassels. Ooh, I love this color, this deep dark blue. It's so lovely. This is a really nice, this one is called the blueberry pie. So it probably says something like lakeside blueberry pie um, as the name. I think that's how they were doing it today. I was running all over <laughs> so I didn't quite get get what at all the changes that were probably made to these Ooh, I love these look at how pretty that is so sparkly really really lovely we have one more mix so as you can see with 12 new items nine that are up right now three more that are going up tomorrow we've got a lot of cool new stuff to check out at softlexcompany.com. 
And uh, many of these items will probably still be available through the weekend and into next week, I would hope but many of them are limited in supply, so they won't be ordered again. If you wanna get them, make sure you grab them when you place your order, because next time you come back, they may not be there. And then last, this one is a blue raspberry, and it's meant to be like the blue raspberry um, Otter Pops that you might find in the summer, kind of a fun summer combination. Look at all of those beautiful turquoise beads. Gorgeous. We've got a really nice boho bead, some big bicones, some flat ovals. Ooh, I'm even liking this. Nice big hole on that bead too, which is exciting. Some uh, matte glass. And then metals in both gold and silver, which is nice if you want to kind of mix, mix and match your metals together. These are really pretty. This is my color combo. Of course, we are just in love with blue here at Softlex. Not only is our it our main color, if you look at our um, materials, you know, and our even our spool labels, we are a very heavily blue company. Um, it's just such a great summer color and just kind of reminds you of the lake and the sky and you can add a little sunshine in if you go with the be kind, a little bit of sunshine there. So we wanted to put something together that would kind of celebrate that feeling of summer. And I hope you really enjoy enjoy this series. Let's make something. I am, oh, and we added these today too. Golly, I'm definitely gonna be using at least one of these in my project this weekend. These are succulents. They are brand new from uh, our friends at TierraCast. TierraCast is our neighbor in Sonoma County. We buy lots and lots of things from them because they just make such nice, beautiful materials. We have them in all three metal tones. So there's a, like an antiqued gold, like an antique looking silver, and then a copper. So you can pick those up on the website as of today as well. These will we will probably carry a little bit longer than some of the other items. We'll probably restock once we run out of those. So um, just to keep that in mind. But aren't they just beautiful little... Succulents. My husband put in a little succulent garden in our front yard. We're trying to go with more native plants so that we have less watering over the summer because there it it's been really dry here in California. And so that's what that reminds me of is his beautiful, his beautiful garden out front. So I will be using those too. Let's see. I'm trying to think what I would like to make today. I think because it's been such a busy day, I would like to go with something that is not too stressful. Uh, maybe, even though these aren't up for sale yet, these could be really fun to use. So I'm gonna pop these open so we can take a closer look at them. It's a really interesting shape. See how it's almost like a dagger, but it's a little curved. So that's, it's really, really kind of an interesting, fun shape. And I'm thinking it could be really pretty. It's almost like a peridot color. I'm thinking it could be really pretty if we intermix it in with some of these fun kind of like lake colors. I'm gonna take a few of those off of there. Like either the turquoise could be really pretty with peridot or the dark blue could be really pretty. We do have the green mambo too if we wanted to go all green, but I'm thinking maybe dark blue would be fun. I am liking how this turquoise is playing with that green though. It's like very, very pop of, beautiful pop of color. 
Okay, so I'm gonna grab out, hmm, probably my dark blue color. And we're just gonna play around and see what happens. Let's see what Lydia says over here. Lydia says, Kristen must have requested though. She loves daggers. <laughs> Actually, I grabbed them at the very last minute today and everybody was probably pretty annoyed with me. <laughs> so I was like, these are in our gallery and I want to add them online too. In addition to the other nine products that we just added. <laughs> James was doing all of your live sale orders and just like the trooper that he is, he was like, okay, we'll add it tomorrow, Sarah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very lucky that my coworkers are so kind to put up with me. <laughs> yeah, you had no idea we had them. I know you're going to like these ones, Kristen. They're pretty great. So I'm going to use some of the blue raspberry mix. And I am going to simply start stringing. That's how I do it. I just try it out, see what happens. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, that's okay too. You don't have to commit to anything. And until you crimp it, and even then, you can take it apart if you decide you don't like it. So I want my little things to face the same direction. Although I am kind of curious, what would it be like if I had them face, let's just see, if I had it face the opposite way, like if I did three of them and they faced, let's see what that looks like when you break them apart like that. If you wanted to create like a little bit of texture, you could string them in the opposite direction like that. Maybe I'll do that on the other side too. See what it looks like. It's a little hard to figure out which way they're gonna face. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having a difficult time with it. It's probably because I've got my wire. Let me push everything. Get out of my way. There we go. So you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. How is everybody doing today? <laughs> oh no, Thomas says, uh-oh, Lydia, you've woke the sleeping giant. <laughs> There's Kristen. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I'm liking that so far. I really love when you can find a bead that is just like a little unusual, a little different than what you might normally use. I've never used this shape before. Never. And it's a fun, interesting shape. So it's nice to be able to kind of experiment with that, play around with it. Let's see what else. Do I want to do a different shape now? Like maybe these bicones might be kind of fun. Let's see if I have enough silver. Yep. Repeat it on the other side. Boy, these big blue bicones are gorgeous. Let's see. Dahlia said, Design says, I've never seen that shape, at least not in glass. Some natural pearls have a similar shape. Yes, that's true, but not in glass. I haven't seen it in glass. Oh, there's James. He hurt his ears were burning. James, I was telling everyone what a kind soul you were today when I asked you to add 
three more items to make for 12 new items this week. And you just handled it with such grace and elegance and didn't curse me out, which was really lovely. So thank you for that. <laughs> and if you guys are all really nice to him, maybe he will get these daggers up online sooner than tomorrow. But I can't make any promises. You never know. If you kill him with kindness, perhaps um, perhaps he will find it in his heart to do it more quickly. <laughs> Well, if you did, James, I at least didn't hear you. So that was the good news. <laughs> you at least kept it to yourself. All right. This is coming together. I'm liking how this looks. It's so fun. Let's see. Let's add another um, blue bead. Can do a simple little blue. That maybe. And then I think I'll probably go ahead and crimp on either side. And I think I might braid up the back end of this. Ooh. Yeah, the pair I need the peridot color, but I don't have that with me. I was gonna I was thinking, ooh, if I had the peridot color here, I could braid up the back with the three colors, but I don't think these particular colors are going to work with this bead. I'm going to grab out some crimps. So James has been working hard on the live sale, uh, live sale. So he says he's in the process of getting everyone's pictures uploaded so that he can send out the live sale totals. And he's thinking that he'll probably be able to do the new products tomorrow morning. So I know everyone's excited to see what they got from the live sale. I got to peek at your baskets today. They look amazing. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Where did my um, bead stoppers go? There's a bead stopper. So I'm going to bead stopper this into the center of my wire. So I'm going to just take this little guy and clip it onto here. And that way when I crimp on the other end, I kind of know where the center is. It'll hold my beads on so they don't go flying. Very handy little tool. I'm going to string my second wire. This is just like a little... Uh, extra piece of wire that I'm putting into the crimp because I'm going to use the magical crimpers and they just hold on better when there's two wires inside of there. So we often will use like a little dummy wire. These are the magical crimping pliers. They have a little divot on each side that's identical. And this two by two millimeter softlex crimp tube fits right in the center of that divot. When I get it in the center, I can go ahead and compress. I'll get what looks like a little four corner ravioli and then turn it on its side and compress and just go around and around it, tightening it down into the nylon coating of the wire and making it look like a little round bead. And now that's gonna hold all my beads in place on that side so that I can expose the wire. If I did want to braid, if I had multiple colors that I wanted to braid, or say I wanted to braid the dark blue wire, I would stick those two extra wires into this crimp, in addition to this being the third, crimp it, and then I could braid up to the top that way. And that would be super pretty on this design. And so 
So one thing I want is I want these daggers to hang really nicely. If I make this super tight, they are going to kind of do things like that where it splits and doesn't just hang nicely. So it is very important that you leave a little flexibility if you're making a design like this with dagger beads. So keep that in mind. One way to make that flexibility, let me get my second little dummy wire in there. One way to make that flexibility is to actually bring it into a circle and then take your crimp, center it into your crimping pliers, and then bring it down as close to that bead as you can while the beads are circular like this. There's going to be some built-in slack when I free this up that is going to ensure that my necklace has a little flexibility to it. And I'm just going in and cutting off the dummy wires. You want to get in as close as you can and just snip. Hey, Becky, thanks for being here. And there we go. Now we've got the bottom of the necklace. Such a fun, um, fun design with lots of great lake colors. And um, I, I'm liking how having the daggers go opposite directions gives it a little bit of interesting texture when you bunch them up like that. Very cool. Um, now we can do a clasp on the back side. This would be a great um, a great example of a clasp that you can probably use with a lobster or a pendant, excuse me, that could probably be used with a lobster clasp. Let me grab. Let's play around with that idea. So you can clip it onto here. So I could, I could attach to the ring and then also clip to the ring and then that hummingbird would hang down if I wanted. I could also see maybe attaching somewhere else, like attaching one wire here and then maybe attaching your lobster clasp here would maybe be another option. You could also do jump rings and be more traditional if you wanted. Let's um, see what length we want this to be. It's definitely not the kind of design that you want super long, so probably somewhere right around there. Grab my crimp tube. Gonna attach on. Let's see if it works, how well it works when we get it attached here. I might also just dangle it using some soft flex. So, okay, so I've got my wires inside my crimp tube. I'm gonna make them side by side because this clasp is very light. And when they crisscross, that loop will sometimes kind of pull to the side. So a nice straight connection is good. You can see I leave like a decent amount of soft flex there too. You don't have to get so close that there isn't a lot of flexibility in that connection. So don't forget, we will have pre-unite for the Great Beat Extravaganza on Friday night on the Great Beat Extravaganza um, Facebook group. We'll also try to share it onto our page and into our group, but that's the best place to catch it is right into the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook group. It's at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and that'll give you a snapshot of what most people will be doing for the weekend. And uh, there's a schedule already posted if you want to see when your favorite companies plan to be demonstrating i suggest you just go to the whole thing that's what i try to do because there's so much to see and learn it is amazing and it's a ton of fun 
So I kind of just block out my whole weekend. My poor family is always like, what is going on? <laughs> what is happening with you? But, you know, priorities, right? Feeding is a big priority. So you can also uh, catch Kristen and I, like I said earlier, right at that one o'clock p.m. Pacific time time slot on Saturday. I believe the big giveaway link is already up if you want to enter the giveaway. And you can find that in the group too. Most of the companies will give items uh, that, and all you have to do is enter your email which we then share between all the companies to contact you. Just making a little link, Softflex link for my lobster clasp. And then I'm gonna connect that cute little hummingbird to it. I think the hummingbird might have come out of a different set, like the green mambo set maybe. I can't quite remember, but I don't think it's in the same set. If you're trying to make this design, you might need more than one. All right, and then I am going to, I'm gonna attach this little hummingbird to the back end there with a piece of soft flex. So I'm gonna take one of those little scraps that I still have left over. I can't wait for this weekend, too. It's going to be so fun. Invite all of your friends because it is more fun the more people that are there and participating. So I just took a little crimp tube on my wire. I'm going to pass into my loop. I don't know why this keeps turning. I need to straighten it. Pass into my loop and then string my little hummingbird charm. And go back in again. That's a little too close for comfort. I'm gonna now you want to make this loop big enough. I'm basically making a soft flex jump ring. You want to make it big enough that your crimping plier can fit inside of it. because you're gonna just crimp it in a little circle to hold that charm in place. You can also use a traditional jump ring. I like soft flex jump rings because the wire is so strong and if you crimp it well with good crimping pliers, you have a good crimp, it holds really well. And I, jump rings tend to open up on me and things slide out and they go missing. So I often just use my soft flex to make my little embellishment. There we go. I've added that cute little hummingbird to the back end of the necklace. And there we go. Oh, and of course you can't see it. <laughs> Isn't that the way? Well, so many new things to play with. Kristen and I will be playing with this stuff for several weeks, I'm sure, and including our Lakeside Design Kit. So if you did end up getting one of these before they sold out, Kristen and I will probably both be using it next week for our live videos. Kristen's on Mondays at 2 p.m. I'm always on Wednesdays at about 3 p.m., um, so we will be using it next week as well, including all of these products too. So if you want to beat along with us in the next couple weeks, grab onto some of these items and we will definitely be exploring um, the variety of new items that we have brought in because it's going to be really, really fun um, to play around with all these new beads and in such a beautiful color palette too. So thanks for joining me today. I will be, let me hop on here.
I will be heading over to Instagram to make my uh, weekly Instagram reel. So there will be another new tutorial there that lasts just 30 seconds. If you missed this one from earlier this week, you can find it on the Great Bead Extravaganza Instagram page. There's a cute little tutorial for it, real easy peasy. You can get all the products here that I showed you and in this bracelet with the exception of the moth from softlexcompany.com. Don't miss our great deal going on this week. You get 10% off your order over $49, 15% off your order over $69, and 20% uh, off your order of $99 or more. Free shipping in the U.S. on all orders over $49. I hope you guys love these new items. We had a really fun time uh, picking them out and putting them together. And I hope that they just give you the most beautiful summer vibes. I hope this summer is a lot better than last summer. And you are getting a chance to vacate a little bit and enjoy the idea of vacation. I know some of you are already traveling and um, some of you are doing a lot of outdoor activities um, like going to the lake or the ocean. Or for me, I live next to the Carquina Strait. So we are down by the water quite frequently in the summer. Um, and I hope you're just really like um, what's the word? Just like sucking it in like that beauty of life after Having gone through such a difficult year with COVID, I think, you know, it definitely gives you a little bit of perspective on just how beautiful things are. And I hope you're kind of sucking it all in and enjoying it. And I hope this bead collection will help in that too um, and just kind of inspire you to really enjoy this beautiful summer ahead. So I will see you guys on Friday at 5 p.m. for our preview night in the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook group. And then I'll see you again on Saturday. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to this weekend. I hope all of you are too. In the meantime, you can find us at softlexcompany.com.